was great to see the work that you're doing and the cars that you're building, especially when you consider the fact that just over a year ago, the future here seemed very much in doubt. Now, before, before I make my remarks, I've, I've got to disclose I'm a little biased here because the first new car that I ever bought was a Grand Cherokee. First new car. Up until that point, I had had some old beat up used cars. You know, they, they, they were not state of the art. And I still remember walking into that showroom and, and, and driving out with that new car. I had that new car smell and everything worked. <laughs> I wasn't used to that. Had all these, uh, everything was electronic. You know, I, I had I, all my, I had had to roll up my windows up until that point. Uh, so, so I've got some, some good memories uh, of that car, but I've got to tell you, when I said in uh, this car, this is a better car. This is a state-of-the-art car. This is a world-class car right here. So I was thinking about what to say today. Uh, an extraordinary story was brought to my attention. I, I, I don't know if, if they're here, but I, I think some of you must know. Uh, Fourteen of your fellow employees at the plant won the lottery. Where are they? That's one, a couple of them right there. You know. Lunch is on them, by the way. Now, the first assumption people might make is, you know, after you win the lottery, you just kick back and you retire. Nobody, nobody fault folks for that. This is tough work. But it, most of them, they just want to keep on working. And, and I, 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 is, uh, is, 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 uh, is William Chanteau here? He not? Well, he bought, he was one of the guys who bought one of the winning, he bought the winning ticket, right? Turns out he, he used uh, some of the winnings to buy his wife one of the Jeep Grand Cherokees that you build right here. He called it a sweet ride. And he's gonna pay for new American flags for his hometown because he loves his country. And he's gonna keep coming to work because he loves this plant and he loves these workers. So don't bet against the American worker. Don't bet against the American people. We got more work to do. It's gonna take some time to get back to where we need to be. But I have confidence in the American worker. I have confidence in you. I have confidence in this economy. We are coming back. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.